As Taylor Swift sang, I wished upon a plane. Well, wishing may be all she can do if she's hoping to secure a spot to park her plane in Las Vegas ahead of Super Bowl 58 to see her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, play on the biggest stage in sports. The Associated Press reports the four airports around Las Vegas have just under 500 parking spots combined. That means Swift may have to shake it off and keep cruising because all the spaces are filled up. You can imagine with the big show in town, airports are preparing for massive crowds. Flights have been added to Las Vegas from Kansas City and San Francisco as the Chiefs and Niners look to do battle. But what about Swift? She needs to find a way to ride on after her show in Tokyo on February 10th. The superstar surely isn't hurting to find a ride. She reportedly owns a private jet, a Dassault Falcon 900 to be exact. Depending on the year, that aircraft will run you anywhere from $19 million to $47 million, according to PilotPassion.com. It's not even the only jet she owns. She's not shy about using them either. The New Daily reports Swiss flights to NFL games this year have created 138 tons of emissions in just three months. However, a representative for Swift defended her decision, saying the artist offset the pollutants by doubling the carbon credits required for a tour in March. Those credits, tradable units representing one metric ton of carbon dioxide, avoided or removed from Earth's atmosphere, according to investment site Silvera. Back to her journey. An analysis by the AP shows if Swift leaves her Eras tour at midnight on February 10th, due to time zone differences, it will be 7 a.m. in Vegas. Assuming her flight takes 11 to 12 hours, she'll be in Sin City the day before the Super Bowl. But she still has a parking problem. The AP reports there are several airports within 100 miles of Vegas, which allow for drop-and-go flights. Pilots leave the passengers, then fly to another airport to park. Let's say she chooses Mesquite Municipal Airport in Nevada. A quick check on Google Maps, and it's a little over an hour from Vegas, likely adding to that number with heavy traffic. If Taylor Swift does touch down in Vegas due to a spot opening up at one airport, her parking may actually be cheaper than for the average fan who drives. An official at Harry Reid International Airport said prices are remaining standard, ranging anywhere from $20 to $150 a day, depending on the size of the plane. The artist hasn't even confirmed she's going to the Super Bowl yet, so right now her trip remains up in the air.